Who would you be according to the Bible, King? You believe in God? I do. Okay, so what God called you? Child of God. A God. I mean, I, I would call myself a child of God. But see, that's what we're missing. We're really missing that connection to the Most High God. That's not what God called you, King. We don't know that it's people. Why? Because we're walking without our God thinking that we know something. Right? We're walking without our God, King, thinking that we know something. Okay. You can come around here, King, because I want you to look at this chart. Okay. On your father's side, okay. what race would your father be? What nationality would your father be? Give me that number, the number of chapter, you know what I want, 182. What would your father's race be, King? Be African American, Haitian, Jamaican, Cuban, Dominican. What's your father? African American. Okay. African American. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. This is why I asked you that, King, because science of this world would tell us that we go off of DNA, right? That's flawed. Let's see what God tells us. Go ahead and read. And this is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. They declared their what? They, they declared, declared their, their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their father. By the who? By, by the, the house of their father. father. So God say your, the pedigree is your DNA. Your okay. roots, the family tree, where you stem from, King. So God said it goes off of the house of your father. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked who is your father because whoever your father is, that will make you. That's you right. Know what I'm, saying, King? I'm, I'm with you. I'm now with that you. DNA stuff is what the science came up with to try to make the heathen of the land, our enemies, make themselves feel like they're the they're the God's people when they're not. Right? We are. You are. You a true child of God. That's right. Everybody That's right. down here is not a child of God. You That's got right. wicked people and righteous people. That's the right. The twelve tribes of the house of Israel is God's righteous people. Those That's are the right. chosen people. Those are the more coming back to redeem. You're not coming back to redeem the so-called white people or the Arabs uh, or the Chinese uh, 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 or the uh, uh, East uh, uh, Indians. You're not coming back for them kings. You know why? Because they put us in slavery. That's right. They put us in captivity. Do they need to be delivered? Uh, uh, I mean, they own Fortune 500 companies, right? Right. They own the banking system. They own all these buildings down here. What do they need to be saved from? Teach, That's right. Right. Who do they need to be saved from? But we're in the ghettos, right? right? We struggle, right? We get the low end of the low end jobs, right? We look right. down upon. Who needs saving, them or us? We'll talk. I, I, I hear you. Give me the book of. Um, I, I get your perspective. Okay, go ahead and read what you got. I like it's the book of Hebrews. Got. Chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it up. Oh, that's okay. So you said your father's African-American, right? Okay. okay. So the African-Americans, you won't find that in the Bible. You won't find none of these names in the Bible. Why? Because our oppressors then gave us. We're walking around with our oppressors' last names, which is English. But you will find the tribe of Judah, the Judites in the Bible. That's where you will read up under your people. When you find them, when you read the Bible now, when you go up under Judites, it'll tell us what's happening to us. You see what I'm saying? We don't know this because we don't know our biblical name, King. Now, since you come from the African American, we're going to give you some evidence who else come from that tribe, okay? Because Christ was what? What happened to Christ? How he got crucified? You say, how did he? How did he get crucified? By the Romans. They, the Romans. they hung him on the tree, right? Right, right, right. Who's known for getting hanged throughout history? Come on, man. Can you tell me one white person? You too. Can y'all tell me just one white person that got hung on the tree? Don't, don't, don't put me in with this, uh, um. You can't do it. What about Chinese or Japanese? What Chinese or Japanese man throughout history, the history books, got hung on the tree? Uh, what about the Arabs? It was only our people. So they hung Christ on That's the tree right. too. That's right. Now we're going to get to the picture of Christ. Give me down the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Read what you got. Right, let's see who's from the tribe of uh, Judah, King. It's the book of Hebrews. Chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident. For it is what? For it, it is, is evident. evident. It is evident, King. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. That our Lord came from the tribe of Judah. That's so right. So Christ would be here walking the earth today. He'd be what? A so-called African-American. That's right. That's right. Straight like that. We're going to give you evidence about that thing, okay? So go ahead and read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs. We're white like wool. So Christ got white woolly hair. What's on top of your head, King? Is that wool texture or that stringy hair? It's wool. It's wool. That's right. Right? Go ahead and read. As white as snow. It was white as snow. 
white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation. Go ahead. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is fine brass, King? Brown. Brown. Brass is brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in the furnace. So if you take brass and burn it in the furnace, what color is it? Black. That's right. Black. This is the depiction of Christ that's in the Bible, King. That's right. So how in the heck did we get this so-called Caucasian man when we got the Bible? You know why this man came along? Because we don't read the Bible. We don't understand the Bible, King. That's why we bow down to worship man instead of worshiping of our Creator, brother. That's right. See that? Now we're gonna give you the book of um. Daniel 10, verse 5. Daniel 10, 5. I want to give you another. I want to give y'all brothers another depiction of Christ in the Bible because it's not in there one time. Hey, can, it's we, in there can I get times. some literature to stay in contact with you guys? Okay. Well, it's a YouTube channel. We got a YouTube channel. Oh, brother. that's perfect. That's perfect. But I do want to finish showing you about Christ and who the real Jews are before you leave. Okay, give uh. me five minutes, King. Five more minutes. Go ahead and read this. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Yeah. Yeah. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man, clothed in linen. This is speaking on our Messiah, our Lord, Christ again. Go ahead. Whose loins were girded with a fine, with fine gold of Uphaz. His body also was like the burl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as flames of lamps, as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet. And his what? And his, his arms, arms and his feet. This is the picture of our Messiah again. His arms and his feet. Like in color to polished brass. Back to going to right. polish and polished brass. Remember I told you, he comes from the tribe of Judah, right? The, the, we come from the, if you're from the tribe of Judah, that makes you an African-American, right? That's right. He got white wool textured hair. Right. You got black wool textured hair. Right. You see what I'm saying? Let's find out what color are the real Jews according to the Bible. Because it's all documented. But we don't know how to read the Bible as a people. So we're here to give our people understanding. So go ahead and read what you got. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. Judah Morning. Judah, that's your tribe. That's your tribe, brother. You from the tribe of Judah. He that's said right. Judah is in mourning, though. Why is Judah in mourning? That's a question, brother. Why is Judah in mourning? Why are, why are our people in mourning? Come on, brother. Why are we in mourning? Our sons and daughters, do they get shot down out here by the police? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm listening. This is your book of records. The Bible is the far book of records. You can't right. be shy no more to it, brother. Okay. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. Now, so what, I, how do we correct that? I, I'm sure some How do we correct it? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good question. Give me the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Let's finish this. Read what you got. Judah morning, and the gates there of language. The gates refer to our leaders. We have no leaders. They are black unto the ground. What color are the real Jews? They, they are, are black, black unto, unto the, the ground. ground. Now, to answer your question, you got a nice, mighty question. All right, what is the solution? Let's find out. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. For we know that the law is spiritual. We know that the law is spiritual, right? But I'm carnal, so under sin. That's all. I'm just giving the talk. Where'd you get the talk? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments. What did the Bible say? Keep, Keep my, my commandments. What did God tell them? Children of Israel? Keep, Keep my, my commandments, commandments and live. We got to keep his commandments and live. Go ahead. And my law. And this what? And, and my law as the apple of thine eye. You see that? That's the solution. Because what did what they, Moses give the children of Israel? The commandments. Right? That's right. The, the, the commandments. Right? right? The law, statutes, and commandments. We got to do that all the way up until this day. Because guess what? When we when he gave us the law, statutes, and commandments, we broke them. Right? And because we broke them, we angered our God. That's right. And he put the other nations over us for a punishment. That's right. So that's right. why we're on the bottom, because we're right. in a punishment, King. But guess what? The Lord is coming back to take us up out of the punishment. Uh, that's why we out right. here to tell y'all it's time to repent and come home. That's right. It's the best information we need. This is what we're going to save our soul. That's going right. to church. Uh, they're not going to save our soul. You know why? Because they teach the Ten Commandments, but they forget about God's laws and the statutes. That's right. They forget about the high holy days. That's why you're celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July. Right? Mother's uh, uh, Day, Father's Day. But what about God's high holy day? Like he gave us. What about the high holy day?
holy days that Christ walked this earth and told us that if we gotta be an example to walk after him. Right, we don't, right. We're not walking after him. The people in the church is not walking after Christ. They're not keeping the high holy days. We keep feasts of dedication. That's in the Bible. Feast of tabernacles, right? Feast of first fruit, memorial blowing of the trumpet. The day is the Lord's Sabbath day. We keep the new moon. We keep everything, the Passover that's written in this Bible, we keep. That's we right. supposed to be keeping it as a people. That's, that's right. Question. Okay, what's your question? And it's a good question. All I mean, right. why would you say the church don't keep, uh -oh. you know, or follow after Christ? No, it's no, no, not I'm, like I'm with you, King. I'm with because you. anybody can walk by and go into a church and say they follow. You, you see what I'm saying? It's not even, okay. I think they, I think the church does follow Christ. Why would you say that? Oh, you're saying First because they... Oh, okay. Acts 7, 48. We're going, we're going to break it down to you. We're going to break it down to you, brother. Why? Because guess what? The pastors in the Christian church, okay, they're not keeping... They're not teaching the Lord. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But see, now we can converse a little bit. Uh -huh. I have to wake up a little All bit. Right. So we find out under Moses, there were laws to keep. That's right. But you got to remember... Like, so you're saying if a pastor today doesn't do those things, he's not following Christ. But hold on, hold on. But, you, but you got to remember now, there's two laws that would almost be in that in equivalence of what they gave Moses the, uh, under those laws, under the old covenant, under the new covenant, which new believers knew. Jewish, black, whatever you want to call it, I have to say it. For right, right. So what it is. other people won't think that we come. We just I'll trying. To, mind, all, all we're trying to do is you're just trying to awaken us to who we really are. Right. And if something was done wrong, we'll let that happen or stuff like that. But I do want to say this: there's two laws: love God with all thy heart and mind, and love thy neighbor as thyself. And if you keep those, you're keeping the Ten Commandments. Is that going to get us into the kingdom? Well, hold on. Notice I said this. If you keep those so in high school, I learned. I, I did. I, I think I was on a retreat. You keep on. You're not going to do nothing wrong if you love your brother. If you love, you, you see what I'm saying? You're going to keep the Ten Commandments. And I just say this because I think a lot of people in church do try to follow Christ by following those two. Those two, two. Two. And it's in the New Testament. I should be able to quote that off the top of my head, but I'm sorry it's a little cold. Sorry, it's all right. And we're not saying anything is wrong against what Moses did. But under the New, realize that it's also agreeing. Are, are you saying that Are you saying the church needs to waken up? I, I'm trying to... What I'm saying, King, to give it be straightforward, to be blunt with it, the church is deceiving our people. That's right. That's right. It's deceiving our people. And we're going to show you, though. Let us give you the proof out of the Bible. Start where you can have the understanding. Because you did say that let they doing what they do, so let them do. No, because if we continue to let them do, our people are going to continue to stay on the bottom of society. That's right. That's Hold right. on. When you say the people in church, you're right? saying you don't, you don't think they're awoke or something like that. They're not at all, brother. Now let us show you, though. I want to show you out okay, of the God's show me, word. Show me, show okay, me. first we're going to get I'll this. Listen to Go ahead and read what you got. It's the book of Acts. Chapter 7, verse 48. Bring it up. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. That's heavy. Read it again. We talk about the church builders now. Go ahead and read it. Acts 7, verse 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Okay. You don't tell in temples made with hands. Okay. All right. Let's find out where is the temple. Give me so hold scripture. on, hold on. What was that scripture? Give me that scripture one more time. That was Acts 7. 48. What was it, Acts? Acts. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, read the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. Read what you got. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. God said he dwelleth not in, in temples made with hands. Okay. But he's saying you are the temple of God. That's Every right. Israelite on the earth is the temple of God. That's and the right. third temple is being built as we speak. That's why you got men like us out here all over the world. We're not okay. just here in America. we all over. So go ahead and read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God. Now if any man defile the temple of God, how can we defile the temple of God? By not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, by eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, by being disobedient children. That's how we be disrespectful to the temple of the Lord our God. Go ahead. Right. Him shall God destroy. So if we 
destroy the body, the body, our temples. God said He would destroy us. We destroy. Here, I, I'm gonna okay, have all out because it's Saturday and it's cold. It's a football game okay. uh, uh, tomorrow. But it does say this in Corinthians, and I should know it just like yesterday. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. My question is, I think everybody here is any man. Would you agree if somebody said any man? I want you to pull that out and explain okay, it to me. We're gonna explain because you guys are bright and I understand right, I a lot did. of things. For in, I'll Who be did quiet Moses give the law of statute and commandments to? Did he give them to everybody? No, he gave it to Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Go ahead. He didn't give them to everybody. Who no, he, gave he, to? he gave them to Israel. Okay. Right. Now, hold right. on. That does not necessarily mean that God has a favoritism. I don't Whoa. think it was that. <laughs> See, you can't say that. Real quick. It's well, like, let's go hold on. Let me say this. Isaiah hey, look, look, look. Me and you brothers, if our dad gave an assignment to another brother, that don't mean that, that we're better than the other brother. Would you hey, none of these tribes better than none of them. No, I none agree with them. that because some people... I, I, I begin to think like our whoever they are. Let me ask you a question, real you quick. What I'm do we have enemies? I, I would be other, stupid I, if I didn't. Say, of course, people have okay. enemies. Okay, and it's the other nations, correct? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Who okay. fit us in slavery? Uh, uh, hold on. We Who fit us in slavery, King? Oh my God! I'm getting on the enemies now. Right. Who fit us in slavery? Okay, we all in the U.S. right now, right? <laughs> we all in the U.S. Okay, then what's your point? I think we all are trying to have some peace, hopefully. Is, is the so-called white man trying to have some peace? Hey, man, I don't think everything. They shoot us down and go home to their beautiful family. You know, right. we do be mourned. Uh, we read that to you, Judah mourning. That's right. See, King. but hold on, on. Let me ask you a question. How are you going to talk politics with religion this ain't politics. Because, no, this, look, those are two uh, things people really don't talk about. We don't dibble and dabble of politics. Uh, I'm showing you is. the truth that's when right. it comes to the Bible. That's right. Now, let right. me read this to you so you can understand. I, I'm not I'm saying that don't happen. I'm just saying, did you understand? I understand what you're saying. And I understand that you're confused by you thinking that everybody's a child of God when that's not. That's, that's why I asked you that okay. God, Moses gave the children of Israel the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. Now, they're given to other nations. So let's see what God says about this thing. So go ahead and read so it. Let me, oh, it's the book of Isaiah, Jesus. chapter 44, verse 1. Bring it out. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel... Whom I have chosen. No, God ain't chosen people. Whom I have chosen. God ain't got no favoritism. You don't show favoritism. Whom, Whom I have, have chosen. chosen. One more time for the top people. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1. Bring it up. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, Israel whom I have, have chosen. chosen. Okay. Who he has chosen. Who he chose. Okay. Who he chose. I didn't say he didn't choose. I made an illustration that your dad can choose somebody else, but that don't mean he feels. You see what I'm saying? Right, and I told you that all 12 tribes are brothers and sisters. I didn't deny that. Now, I'm going to get back to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Just because other things have been done, I, I think I wanted to ask you a question because you had said, like, if... Let me ask you a question. What, would, what do you really want to express to people that you say black people need to waken up to who they are? <laughs> I mean, let me ask you a question. Can't you just have a meeting with certain people that say, like, man, we're probably living in a land where God has opened up? Like, because we're probably all, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're all above 25, and I think now, whatever you want to call it, and I understand, you might be on a political agenda, but all I'm thinking, Okay, I'm not saying you I'm not even saying you're wrong because you do carry a strong message. But I'm just saying this. Aren't there opportunities out there where you can feel like uh, a person can wake up on their own if they want to? We're going to get that too. Give me that book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. We're going to show you, King. We're gonna, but we did the thing, bro. Okay. When you ask a question, I like to go into the Bible and prove it. But when okay. you, you, you ask one question, then I'm going to try to prove it. Okay. You go to another one, so I can't we'll prove let it. You talk. I like okay. to, I like to prove ahead. all things with the scriptures. Go ahead and read. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Bring it up. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So God woke us up and made us watchmen unto the house of Israel. He the one gave us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to come out here and give our people the truth as it is written. Go ahead and read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. 
So now God gave us a job, and our job is to give y'all warning okay. from the most high. Go ahead okay. and read. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. So if we warning the wicked, yeah, come home and repent. Come back to the okay. biblical nationality. I'll but it, but he said if you don't take heed to the warning, nor speak is to warn the wicked from his wicked way. And if we don't warn the wicked from their wicked ways. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. So we don't wake our people up and tell our people the truth. Not just you would die, but we would die also for not saving our people. That's right. You see what I'm saying? All right. Now, read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20. Verse 24. Get out. Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings are of the Lord. Give me that. Go ahead. How can a man then understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? Go ahead and read that one more time, Ox. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Because guess what? You didn't just stumble across us, brother. The Lord brought you here for a that's reason. Right. So the Lord is here to wake you up. That's but right. It's on you okay, if you okay. miss it or not. That's on you. But go ahead and read. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? Give me that in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 21. Bring it out. Verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he diligently in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. See that? Who is that talking about? It's talking about righteous men. That's keeping the law, that's the commandments. Okay. That's why it's so important for you to come back to the law, that's the commandments, because that will make you a child of God. Read what you got. Right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23. Bring it out. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. Our ways are not in ourselves, brother. It's all of the Lord. That's when right. we understand that, then we can understand the Lord. Go ahead and read. It is not in man that walking to direct his steps. We don't direct our own steps. You may say, look, I'm going to Subway to get me a sandwich. But guess what? That was the Lord that put the Spirit on you. you already go and get that sandwich before you even know that you were going to go and get that That's sandwich. That's right. Go ahead and read. Oh, Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger. Least thou bring me to nothing. And that's why we pray, so we won't feel the anger of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? All right, what's your question? Um, just how can I stay in contact? Contact. I mean, is there? I know you got a YouTube. Like, is there yeah. a way where? I guess as far as like you guys meet again. And yeah. Stuff, we, we, could you write it down on the back? So, you understand? This, what yeah, I, mean? I know what you're saying. Hold on, listen it's, to me though. This today is the Lord's Sabbath day. A lot of people say they want to congregate with us. They say they want to do Zoom meetings with us and learn. But I test every brother, right? And when I test them, I say this. Same thing I'm telling them. I tell them, I'm telling you this day. Come down here next Sabbath. Saturday is the Lord's true day. Okay? You come down here. We out here at 2 on, on to whenever. So you come down here at 2, you'll show me that you're really serious. Oh, when you come okay, down here you, next Sabbath, then we can get, I'll give you my number. So no, that's cool. So, is that a habit, or do you guys? Meet? The only reason why I say that, mm -hmm. more people, as far as like me, I'm just really curious and, and really, yeah. I mean, a lot of people would, you know, as far as yeah. Hey, you can but tell think, already we're different from the so-called pastors, right? We really know the Bible. They don't. Right. You know what they do before they come out, or they go on the Sunday on the wrong day. They go in their church. They already sat down Saturday and written down everything, and they got that note put it on the pulpit, and they go over them same little scriptures. That's why they take so long going there. Yeah. You notice we called about, I don't know about what, over let, 50 Let me Christians? say this, that it oh. really know you, let you know I'm real, and then I'm going to get going. Don't you think someone will want to talk to you? I want you to this understand. Is, we, we, so you know I'm serious. We right? talk. We talk. Now, like I said, we have a lot of people. Let me ask you a question. Okay, Would you feel comfortable talking? Yeah, that's what we do. It's our job to wake our people up, brother. Okay. It's our job. You know the story of Jonah? Yeah. What happened to Jonah? God gave him an assignment to do, and he didn't want to do it, so he tried to go elsewhere. And what happened? He got judged. And then in the end, he still came out and do the Father's will. That's you see right. what I'm saying? So, same thing happened to me. I didn't want to come out here when I was told I had to teach. I didn't want to do it. 
I mean, I was told two weeks in advance, I was happy to do it. But when it came down to the Saturday, the Saturday, and it was time to come down, I didn't want to do it. I prayed to the Lord, please, Lord, I can't do it. I, I, I can't have the strength. But guess what? I prayed, I came downstairs, opened my Bible. I just opened it, just flipped it open, and I read. And I read, you know what it took me to? The story of Jonah. I already know the story of Jonah. It hit me. So I already know, if I try to opt out, I'm going to go through a harsh punishment, and I'm still going to have to do with this. So you know what I had to do? I had to say, okay, I had to follow, I got to build on my faith, right? I know the Lord is not going to pick me out here if I'm not ready. See what I'm saying? The Lord want me out here to do a job, I got to go do it. So that's what I had to man up and came out to do it, and I've been out here ever since. And I ain't planning on turning back. Why? Because I'm going to turn on the Lord, and I'm not about to do that. But right. the Lord, he right. judges us. He right. judges us. See that? I got a precept on something for the head. Brother, what? Well, I got something for you. Because you, you did ask, you said, uh, why do y'all come out here? Is this a habit? This is what the Lord told us to do. He said in Exodus 20 and 8, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do shalakia. Thou shalt not do any work. So we not to do any work today on the Lord's Sabbath day. Hold on, go ahead. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in, in Salakia, all that in them is the rested the seventh day. And Salakia, rested and the rested day. the seventh day. That's why he told us that we have to rest on the seventh day. Okay. The Lord, the day is the Lord's Sabbath day. Do you know what is required of us as being children of Israel to be obedient, how to keep the Lord's Sabbath day? Now he just gave you one. We got to rest on that day. What else? Give me Exodus 35 and 4 and 3. 35 and 3. Give me Nehemiah 1031. Let's show you. We're going to show you what God says about his Sabbath day that we're supposed to be doing. That's to obey him. Because remember, we got into captivity because we disobeyed him. We're coming back to keeping these laws. So we must know these so we can follow it so we can please the Lord. Go ahead and read. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Read it up. Yea, shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So the Lord told us we can't even kindle no fire. You know what that means? No cooking. Now, you can go and turn on your heat, right? You can light a candle. The Lord ain't simple. He's just telling us we can't cook on the Sabbath day. We prepare before the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? We make sandwiches, you know what I'm saying? Salads, whatever you anything cold, but just no. What was that scripture? That's Exodus. 35 verse 3. Exodus 35. Okay. We're going to give you another one. Go ahead and read. And this is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victual on the Sabbath day to sell. Now, this he's talking about. If anybody bring merchandise on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every day. Now, this is the thing. We can't buy or sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. right. Why? Because he told us.